these are like the race cars of the fire truck world. The North Peace Regional Airport has some new wheels at their terminal. Two new aircraft rescue firefighting vehicles have replaced their old trucks. Compared to the old ones, this definitely brings us up to uh, the modern day and age. Um, and again, yeah, it helps us be more, more efficient and effective with our jobs here. Funded by Transport Canada, the Oshkosh Stryker 4x4 trucks cost $1.9 million and were needed to accommodate the airport's growing number of passengers. The airport uh, reached the uh, 180,000 passenger mark and at that point in time that's the, uh, the, point, uh, the trigger which drives uh, the need for airport uh, fire service. The trucks hold up to almost 6,000 litres of water and 800 litres of foam. The new vehicles are also equipped with modern technology to make the firefighters' jobs a little more easier. The upgrades are in uh, the power, uh, uh, the, the, the way uh, the, the turrets work, uh, the way the, uh, the, the driver operates the, the vehicle, their single person operation. There's also infrared technology to detect hot spots. Which is really nice on like a cold and foggy day or a dark day. It gives you a better perspective of uh, what's going on in front of you. There haven't been any major fire incidents at the airport, but the crew is trained to respond to a blaze within two minutes. You drop what you're doing and you get into your bunker gear, you get into your truck, fire your truck up, um, make contact with the tower, and then you start heading out to, uh, to wherever the, the crash might be. Burns says the most difficult obstacle to deal with during an airport fire is the location of the fuel. It's, it's sometimes hard to contain because uh, you don't know where it's coming out. Uh, and once you get a foam blanket on it, you have to maintain that or it'll just reignite on you. Right now the trucks are only being used at the airport, but a mutual aid agreement with the City of Fort St. John is in the works. These trucks would be very helpful if there was a hydrocarbon fire or a tanker truck where we're a hydrocarbon based community. Uh, if in the future, if we get them uh, insured and licensed, we definitely would be able to roll one of them and help out. Carissa Wilson, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.